All right, what's up, Dragon Brew? Today, we have ourselves some pirates. And we knew we were gonna get around to playing pirates because they're such a fun group to play out of the latest set. And honestly, there's a couple of pieces that aren't pirates that might really make this deck work. Also, before we get into this list, could you take a second to go ahead and hit that like button because that helps out quite a bit and helps us get seen by more people. And if you'd be really nice, if you smash the subscribe button because that'll make sure you get access and reminders to all of the new videos we're putting out because there's a lot of cool stuff to play in standard. All right, going down this list, we're going to be playing some Spyglass Siren. This card's actually super good because it makes a map token, which can get us an extra artifact because we have some stuff that cares about artifacts, but also can just make our creatures bigger. So anything that helps your draws later in the game is going to be great anyway. We're playing some Goblin Tomb Raider that actually gets a bigger... Uh, power from having artifacts. It just becomes a 2-2 two, two for 1, but that's not bad. It does actually get haste, so sometimes that matters. We're going to play Rabbit Battery. This is actually a really fun one because it can give us a creature after a sweeper, it can give a new thing haste, and it's an artifact again, so that's pretty sweet. Also going to try out Malcolm, Alluring Scoundrel. It is a pirate, it is legendary, so that's tough, but the fact that it has flash I think is really good, and if nothing else, you just get to Rummage every turn, so I mean, you get to draw and discard, so looting, I guess. Staunch Crewmate. This is one I don't love, but I don't hate. It's a 2-mana, two 2-1. Two it does just replace itself in your hand, pretty much always. And it can help you find really key cards, so could be pretty good in here. Captain Storm. Yeah, one of the things that cares about artifacts is this thing, for sure. And it puts a permanent plus one, plus one counter on another pirate. And considering how many flyers we have, that uh, could be pretty big. Kite Cell Larcenist. This card, I think, is going to end up being pretty annoying and standard until people figure it all out. But this is a 2-3 flyer with Ward 1. Already good. And it effectively just turns off a card by turning it into a treasure and removing all of its abilities. But this here is a fun thing from a friend of ours, Yeoman5. He went in on the Mindlink mech, and you know what? I agree with him. I think this is the right choice. Getting a 4-3 flyer for 3. It gets the abilities of whatever you crew with it, which is awesome. But honestly, just a four power flyer that we can often have be a five or a six power flyer seems totally worth it. I think a lot of people playing pirates are going to actually tell you that breaches is probably the reason people want to play this deck. It's a three mana three three first striker, which is already good. But whenever you're attacking, you very often are going to get at least two, if not all three of the triggers on here, which can keep something from blocking and making treasure, which is awesome. But if you do have spare mana with those treasure at the end of the game or later in the game, you can exile something from the top of your library and get to play it that turn. So love that magmatic galleon this card it's expensive it's five mana but we do have a few ways to make treasure but this card deals five damage to a thing when it comes into play and then whenever one or more creatures your opponent's control are dealt excess combat damage you get to make a treasure so yeah you gotta love that and it outright kills shieldred so you love it now per usual we will talk about this deck at the end of the video so you'll see the full deck list then but if you want to download it and go to the description down below look for the blue arrows and take it to our moxfield link where you can see today's deck and a pile of other stuff ready to go for the new standards so you should have access to a lot of things to play right out of the gate don't forget we're sponsored by cool stuff inc you should go over there and buy your magic cards or your DD stuff or your pokemon cards they have a lot of things and you can save five percent on it. especially right now with christmas you want to get a little something for yourself Save 5%, use code DRAGON, and remember, they always have cool stuff in stock. All right, let's keep it. We're just going to call Pirates and see what happens. All right, let's see what's up. Is this going to be yet another dinosaur opponent today? Mm, let's do this. Let's attempt to crack one of these. Uh, I think you just get to go away. I don't think you're going to be good enough in this fight. I'm pretty sure. Don't know how I know, but I feel pretty confident in that fact. And... Geek Squint. All right. Yeah, you're a little in. You're, you're all right. We're not going to worry about that too much. See, this is where it's tough. Because, like, you don't really want to waste this on that. But you also don't want to not play anything this turn. These are the things I thought I was going to run into. Um, sad. I think we just you just have to 
play conservative here. All right. Well, it's another land. We will attack for three, I suppose. Because it's not worth just wasting this to turn that into a treasure. Because at that point, they even just sack the treasure and play like a five mana thing this or four mana thing this turn. And then now, though, the problem is if they play the five three, we wouldn't be able to pay the ward to target it with this. Oh no, this isn't even targeted. Oh no, it is. It's choose target. Okay, I was like, wait a minute. I thought I misread that for a second. Hey, thanks for the follow. Oh, everybody's getting in there. Somebody just subscribed. Thank you so much. All right. We will turn off the little dude. Hopefully. Successfully. Uh, up to one target we control. We will choose none. Though that's good to know that we could turn something into an artifact. I wasn't even thinking about that as a real option. Now, they will have access to five mana if they have a land here, which can be scary. We're just hoping we can kill something with the Galleon on our turn. All right, Yearling. Familiar. Ugh, the Yearling could be a big attacker, I think. Still going to call Pirate, but I think we're just going to call... Hmm, this doesn't have haste or anything. I think we got to get rid of the mana creature. I feel like in just a couple turns, we could produce enough to maybe stay out of trouble. So we'll see. And then I can keep this to crew. If I keep one back, right? Crew for two. Uh, Yeah, let's attack here. All right. Then we have some different options between this and can attack, make treasure, pump some creatures. Hammer Skull, you are going to be a bit of a problem. And that's kind of one of the things I was worried about. Yeah, we take six. I mean, I guess I could kill that and then get another one back. Um, Man, giant growth wrecks our world, huh? When it's at nine, can we kill them? If we two, three, four can't block, but maybe. All right, I think I have to block. I don't think I want to give up the galleon here. Maybe I should have kept the flyer. I don't know. Could end up being a mistake. We'll see. All right. Let's go here. Into... Actually, let's do this first. In case there's something else on top I might want. Oh, another boat. That's possibly a thing. It's also first strikes, which is kind of nice. Brewing the boat doesn't do much because it's on the ground. So... We're just going to attack with the flyers here. Oh, wait. I forgot. We can make the thing not block. Because I had two pirates attacking. Ah, uh, That sucks. Yeah, I would have at least forced them to block with that. Because that would have been exactly nine. Ooh, that's a mistake. All right. Well... Dark creature can't block this turn. I mean, I guess. <laughs> like, they're they're both on the ground, so it doesn't matter that much. Alright. Yeah, that was a little bit of a mistake. I mean, I say that. They would have been able... Well, I mean, would have had chump blockers. Yeah. Definitely should have done that. Alright, another hammer skull. Okay, we are going to through the vehicle. We will try to first strike this. We will try to block this. And we will try to block this. And hope nothing too bad happens to us. 
All right, we got lucky. Cool. Looks like we got away with it. Because now we'll be able to keep a thing from blocking. Wait, these aren't even legendary? Oh, weird. I genuinely thought those were legendary. No jokes. And then we'll just attack. No need to crew and all the mess. Uh, make a treasure. Make a thing not block. And exile stuff that we could play, I guess. All right, cool. Held up against dinosaurs. We go first. This is a definite keeper. We are not mad about this. Go ahead and spyglass up, and we're just going to do a bunch of flying in here, I think. We can play Malcolm next turn, then set up a Mind Link max. There's, just, there's a few things we could do. Oh, Lebdev is here. What's up? Didn't realize who that was. All right, we're going to get in with our whole one damage. Yeah, the, the lack of restrictions on cards. Like, it's weird. There's a lot of things that are restricted. So there's a lot of, like, especially with whatever the new ability is, like crafting or whatever is all as a sorcery and all that stuff. But then the one time you think it is, you're like, oh, wait, I can just do this? <laughs> so it's interesting where they chose to and not put stuff. Oh, this is interesting. I thought I knew what I was going to do for a turn, but let's go with this. If they have a kill spell, we'll see it now. No, they're not. All right. This is nice. All right. We're going to get a treasure and, you know, we'll just make something not block. No need to exile a card we can't cast here. Because we're only going to have one mana. All right. Ooh. Uh, you know what? I do like you a little Tomb Raider, but you're probably not the card we're looking for here. All right. Though if they have a lightning strike, we could gamble to try to... Oh, they're just playing straight up treasure map. I can say we could gamble... Oh, and they're using the map right now. Okay. Interesting. Man, they are digging hard for something. I don't know what it is. Okay, that makes life a little easier with the make disappear. And since we'll be able to make treasure... We could play this and still leave up a Make Disappear using the treasure if necessary. I think I'm okay with that. And then, uh, yeah, everybody's going to get some. Can't block. Uh, I think we kind of know what we're doing with our mana, so I'm just... Well, I guess we choose them all anyway. We, we don't get an option not to choose. Uh, didn't matter. It's a legendary, so that's good. Uh, ooh, Restless Buyer, huh? All right, I guess you're out of here. In the turn. Opponent's already at 10. Man, Malcolm's going to take a lot to get the counters on, I think. What is this person? Enters Battlefield, okay, you discover three. Uh, let's not... I mean, I guess we could turn... I don't even know if I want to turn that into a treasure, actually. It's probably better as it is. Uh, okay, sure. Oh, wait. Hold on. I was going to crew this and attack, but then I don't get a trigger for this guy. Opponent's at 10. That's 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Yeah, let's go for it. Oh, we can actually crack this. This might be lethal, actually. Um, Does it matter... Not really. I'll just choose nothing from our side. And yeah, let's... I'm going to choose nothing from both sides? Yeah, all right. Let's gamble here. We got there. 
Eh, let's go ahead. We're gonna leave them at one, but all right. Treasure. Can't block. And exile a thing we won't be able to play. Opponent just says GG anyway. Oh, my math was wrong. Oh, for some reason I forgot it, it got bigger. That's <laughs> like I was I for some reason I was thinking it was lower power. That was silly. Yeah, we're still gonna keep this. This feels a little bit dicey, but I think we're going here. Oh, but this gonna be some cave action? I think I'm gonna go do this because I have a feeling we're gonna need to uh, do a lot of exploring to try to dig for lands. All right, there's one now. All right. Okay, well, guess it's gonna be more of the same. Oh man, we kinda want that here. All right, not the most fun card, but it's definitely a card we want. All right, I'm willing to gamble. If you have a sweeper, whatever. Try to get stuff done. I mean, if they're going to do something, it's got to be now, because they know what's on top of our library. Unless they randomly mill us, and that would be hilarious. Yeah, I was saying, we knew there was an option of something happening, but... Kind of worth the risk. I think we go ahead and go here, because we can get more damage in. And a tortoise. That's where life's going to start getting bad. Oh, man, they have not missed land drops at all, and we are over here struggling. Oh, what's the best thing we could do? I guess we turn that off. Really wanted one of these to be a land, and it definitely was not. I guess we'll turn this into treasure. Because why not? We got to try to do something. <laughs> I don't know if it's going to be enough, but we'll see. All right. Let's hope you can't kill this. I don't even want to use the treasure here. I feel like we're going to need it later. All right. That's our turn. Schooner's not bad, but the thing is, the five damage from the Galleon is really, really big. When you need to kill, like, Shieldreds and Dinosaurs and whatever, like, the five damage is a lot. And the treasure does matter in this deck, too. Ooh, Watley. I was not expecting to see that there. Kind of makes sense, though. All right. Get lost, which gives us maps. Okay. All right, so they get the turtle again. Ooh, this is going to be a race. We need them to have no more get lost to be able to kill our mechs along the way. Uh, we have a pile of maps. I mean, we can play this. We can play this. Which doesn't do a lot here. It's just a 2-2 body. But it is a thing we can sacrifice if we feel we need to. Screw this up. Oh, wait. I should have crewed with the Raider because it would have gotten an additional plus one here. I guess it doesn't matter. We're going to put them at seven. Would have felt bad, though, if we would have put them at five or less. Actually, no, it does matter. Because we'd even be able to crack the maps and possibly try to create lethal next turn. Yeah, that was just bad. That was a silly play. 
definitely makes a difference. I mean, technically still possible that we could pull it off, but it would have been easier with your opponent being at less life. Especially since neither of these is a real quality block anyway. I mean, if they have another get loss, I mean, it's, it's whatever. I mean, we can't do anything about that. They have so much mana, even our make disappear is not going to do much. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Yeah, the cave decks, I think, is going to be a little difficult to play for a bit while people try to figure out you know, all the costs and what you're going to activate and are you going to try to discover and it's just a lot of things to process while you're playing that build. Alright, still got a lot of mana. And these become three threes. Alright. You got it. That's 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 16. So, yeah, we're dead, right? Oh no, because the other dude's not attacking here. He's summoning sick. Uh, so now... Can we attack for enough next turn? Yeah, this is... This is that... Using the wrong card to crew makes a big difference here. Alright, so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna block a 5. So I'm gonna take an 8-10. We'll block... Sadly, I think the only way I can try to guarantee this is to turn this into a creature and try to map now. And if they just have a removal, they get us. And I don't think there's much we can do about it either way. Oh, these are as a sorcery even? Oh, just like, oh man, really? Bruh. All right. Here's a plan. Nope, that doesn't work. Okay. So I have to crew and hope all three of these hit. Is that the only real plan? Oh, that sucks so much. Not, not true, actually. Okay, let's do this. We can crew. So that's four. Right? We can then put this on this is five. So we only need two of these to hit. Let's see what happens. And again, if they have a removal card anywhere here, we're... we're... Mm... Well. Hold on a second. I have something going on real quick. Uh all right. I'm back. Okay. Um I guess it just goes in the yard, because whatever. The game's over this turn or next turn anyway. Uh, come on, this one has to hit then. This is it. Hey, we did a thing. All right. And then hope they don't have the removal. I mean, it keeps pausing. They have something, right? Gonna abrade us or something. Nope, it's probably just another get lost. No, it wasn't. Wow! Oh. Ooh. Ooh. Had I made the correct I, uh, crew the turn before, that last turn wouldn't be nearly that bad. Yeah, I could have saved myself a ton of pain and anguish by just crewing before because I could have gotten extra damage in. I would have even had mana where I could have cracked one of those maps sooner. Possibly getting two extra damage on that turn. And then this turn would have been way easier to manage. And I would have still been able to leave up Make Disappear mana. Yeah, I thought about that too after I tossed it away. I could have just explored the same card. I was like, why did I do that? But I got lucky and it was okay. I mean, I got bailed out of my own stupidity. <laughs> mm, I'm going to... 
Hmm. I'm definitely going to keep this. It's just one that needs some other cards to help it get where it's going. Playing against Wargamer VIP. I don't know who Wargamer is. But we will see. All right. Like I said, this is kind of an easy keep here. Oh, just coming out the gate with some aggression. All right. Well, I have some chump blockers. I don't know if they're going to be good enough. We'll see. Dude, did you really just roll up here on early access with mono red aggro? For real? For real, for real? Like, all right. I mean, you're welcome to do so. All right, let's see what we got going on. Well, you're going to get to put a counter on that, my friend. Uh, I don't really care about stuff being in a yard, but I'd rather them just not have a blocker, I guess, when we decide to get aggressive. Interesting, too, that they discarded another Devastator. Uh, whenever you cast a permanent spell, using mana produced by this, discover X. Alright. Uh, how do we want to go about things here? We can turn that off, which would be kind of nice. I think we do. I mean, they get treasure, so they can still kill this, but that's fine. Uh, I don't remember what Waylaying Pirates is. We'll have to look at it when we're between games. Uh, Alright. I can see where you're going with that. Especially with this. I see a little thing we're working on. That's cool. Alright. Fair enough. Can we do enough here? And I almost want to hold on to this to be able to uh, block some things later. Hmm. I'm just trying to debate if I want to do this and this, or if I want to do this and this. Because we could... Hmm. I think we're playing this. Because there's a chance we could find the big boat. And boy, did we miss. Ugh. That's terrible. That's abysmal. Oh, gosh. All right. I gambled and it did not pay off. All right. And a Raiju, sure. You got Raiju, you're going to get to discard some stuff. There's a dinosaur that we already in the graveyard. Oof, this is going to be tough. Lots of plus one counters getting distributed here. We're going to have to really try to prioritize what to even kill here. Like, this is a real thing. And they use their treasure, so we don't have to worry about losing our dude. Mmm. This tramples too, though. But this is just damage. Alright. I guess it's got to be like this. Well, that tramples. That's silly. Alright, yeah, we're taking four no matter what. Alright. That's tough. That's real tough. I think we're just dead. We're not going to have enough here. Yeah, even if that was something good, we wouldn't have enough. Because making a first striker here isn't enough... That, uh, I mean, this is going to trample after it gets the counter, though, right? Yeah. So something's going to trample and just make our life terrible. I mean, we can make two blockers. <laughs> but, like, that doesn't do enough here. Yeah, I don't see a way we get out of this.
Yeah. But if I'd have played him in a different order, I could have played Larsenus to turn off the 4 4. Still would have been bad, though, because then we're still dedicating to blocks that we can't really survive. Yeah, opponent's got it. I mean, we block here, block here. Hope you don't have a burn spell. I mean, we're at two. Okay, we're not dead. I mean, still playing magic. That's all you can ask for, I guess. Hmm. Now I'm debating if I need that for actual blockers at some point. All right, so we can turn off the legend. We play... Hmm. Trying to decide if I want to play Mind Link Mech or not. Because we can block a 3-4 with that. Hmm. I think we're just playing this. Alright, pass the turn. We are definitely not the aggressor. Any haste thing is bad for us here. If they have two haste creatures, it probably did. Because one's already coming out of the graveyard. Alright. Oh, no! Uh. <laughs> yeah. I mean, the good news is we at least get to kill one of these. Ah, oh, man. Yeah. Yeah. I guess the question is, do I crew the Mind Link mech and just throw that away here? To keep the other dude on ice? And I think we probably do. It's just going to make us very sad to do it. Oh, I keep forgetting. I keep forgetting. I think... I, in my head, I want this to keep being a 3-4 instead of a 4-3 for some reason. Obviously, it's this correct thing to do. I keep thinking it's a 3-4. I don't know why. My brain today is not processing. Like, And I've played the card before. It's just not processing that it is what it is. Alright, so we can make a treasure. We can get a card off the top. We can have a blocker for that. This still needs another counter. All right, I'm going to leave. Hmm. You know what? I and we can't even we can't attack with more than one thing though. Not really. All right. I'm just going to attack with this. See if we get Oh, that's not a pirate. Gosh dang it. <laughs> that was dumb. I should have attacked with this so I could get a card off the top. Hopefully we don't die because of that. All will be one. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, gosh. That's an awful way to go out here. Uh, literally, yeah, we're dead. We're dead. That's so funny. Uh, good job. Good job. My bad play didn't even matter. Uh, that's so funny. <laughs> uh, yeah, we'll keep this. Not like the most exciting thing, but we have a couple turns to draw some land, and this can just find us some cheap uh, pirates if we need to. Alright, well, we did the first part and found some land, so that's good. Mm, we will take this guy. Having a first striker here is probably good. Yeah, I guess we're blocking. I don't know what they're willing to do here. Oh. Using a go for the throat there. Nice. Uh, Yeah, about that. Let's... I'm going to... You know what? I'm not going to run out this yet because they use that uh go for the throat very frivolously <laughs> which has me a little bit concerned 
So we'll see what's up. If they attack, we'll double block. See what other resources they want to spend. Sure. Yep. Makes sense. Alright, let's play this tapped. Let's go with this. Playing it a little safe here till we figure out kind of what's going on. Ooh, we need a land real bad. <laughs> we need to be able to kill that thing. Oh my gosh. Yeah, so about... Man, I was really hoping we had a top deck of land for the Galleon. All right, well, we ain't doing much else here. I mean, I seriously doubt they're going to block with a thing that's going to have us taking double damage. All right. I mean, assuming Shieldred is next. So we take four, and then we take four. Ugh. Nope, they just have a kill spell here. I think we can live with that. That feels like the lesser of all the evils that could happen. But we need an untapped land real bad. Like, oh no, like we're in emergency territory if they have the right cards. I think we will... Hmm. We're going to crew this anyway. It's just what are we doing with it overall. I think I'm going to go ahead and crack this. Even though, obviously, we're looking for a land. Alright. That helps. Put that on here. And... I think I'm just going to attack for five. Play one of these. Might as well. I don't want to overcommit stuff here. All right. All right, so we have Galleon now, which hopefully helps our situation. Yeah, Flayer is a real problem. Like, to the point, I feel like I still have to jump block here with the rabbit battery. All right, we're at 14, down to 12. Evolve Sleeper, that's going to be a nuisance. What is this guy? Enters a battlefield, surveil two. For each card put on top of your library, you draw and lose three. They felt strong enough to keep that under the circumstances. Four, five, six. We can make this seven. Not quite enough. Four, six, seven. Yep, still seven. All right, so here's what we're going to do. Galleon for sure. To kill that thing. Because that's imperative. Make a treasure. We'll play this. We'll crew with this. Because this needs two to crew. We'll attack for four. And now I'm trying to figure out how we can lose from here. If the opponent has some type of sweeper that cost us all of our creatures, but not their four, four and their three, two, that's bad. But I kind of want to use the treasure to unlock a blocker. Oh, that won't work, though, because we won't be able to crew the galleon. Yeah, it doesn't really matter, then. Never mind. The spyglass is only a 2-2 because we have the rabbit battery on it. Okay. Let's see what you got. There is a shieldred. That's okay. Really, because we have flyers that they have to deal with. Uh, we'll crew this. And I guess we'll block the biggest thing? 
Why not? Yeah, that's fine. Okay, that went well. Draw a card, go to five. Siren is another thing to crew with. Make a map. Crew with this. Mm. Put this here. Go to attack. Alright, I guess that's it. And... All right, cool. Survive that. Okay, y'all, this list worked out better than I thought, and I have a few things to say about it, but let me go ahead and give you the list first. We've got four Spyglass Siren, four Goblin Tomb Raider, four Battery, three Make Disappear, three Malcolm, four Staunch Crewmate, three Captain Storm, four Kite Sail Larcenist, three Mine Leak Mech, three Breaches, two Magmatic Galleon. Uh, lands, we're playing four Island and Ottawara, four Mountains, Sakinzen, two Restless Spire, four Shivan Reef, three Storm Carved Coast, three Cavender Souls, and one Merix. Now, I will say, like all things, this was the early access streamer event, so we're all testing cards and all learning our stuff, so it's not going to be like the most top end gameplay. But still, this deck kind of overperformed a little bit, and I think it was because of the vehicles. If anything, I think one of the concerns is, you know, how do we get access to another Magmatic Galleon? Because there's a lot of games where I was just like, man, if I could draw a Galleon, this would solve all of our problems. And getting the treasure is nice, and it is just a big 5-5 to fight with. And then randomly discovering that they're not legendary for some reason. You can just have a couple of 5-5s you want to crew and attack. So that's pretty cool too. So yeah, the deck overall was actually pretty good. It actually, all the cards synergized together, they all made sense. So not much to complain about here, just, you know, good thumbs up all around to Pirates. And today we will not have a card spotlight. However, we will ask you one quick time if you forgot, maybe you want to hit the like button because that'll help. Hit the subscribe button, make sure you get to see all the other standard videos we have coming out. And if you still got time on YouTube, check out this next one because there's more standard fun to be had.